It's just a bunch of hocus pocus. Hi guys, and welcome to my channel. Today, as you guessed it, it's gonna be Hocus Pocus inspired DIYs. And what a better day than today because of the release of Hocus Pocus 2. Who else is excited? Because I know I am. If you're ready, grab your broom, sisters, because today we craft. For DIY number one, I began with this sign from Dollar Tree and began by taking it apart by ripping off the ribbon from the back. Set aside the ribbon because you'll use it to put it back together again. Beginning with a chippy brush, I used white paint and did a rough coat all over both the signs. Then I went in with some brown acrylic paint and did the same technique, just a lot lighter. After I was done with the brown acrylic paint, then I went in with some black acrylic paint and just added it till I was content. If it was too much, then I went back in with some more brown acrylic paint and then to lighten it up at the end, I went back over the both boards with more white acrylic paint just to get it look like really old weathered wood. At the end of that, I just edged the sides with some of the leftover black paint that I had. To tone down the brightness and shininess and cartooniness of this cauldron, I dabbed on some black acrylic paint with my chippy brush. When I was done one coat, this is what it looked like. I let it dry and then went in with another coat and then continued until I was happy with the coverage. I didn't want it fully covered, but I wanted it almost fully covered just so that it didn't look so cartoony. Then I added in some dark green paint back over the bubbles just to give it that green, bubbly, mucky look. While these pieces dried, I set them aside and worked on my computer and made some decals for the signs. I came up with, or well, didn't come up with, but I designed this Sanderson Sisters Brewing Co. Uh, decal that I added to the top piece of the sign. I did struggle quite a bit and lost some paint. However, it did add to the rusticness, but I did go back in and add some paint where it was really removed. When I was happy with how the sign turned out, I then took all three pieces, flipped them over to the back side, and laid the original hanger back into the same spots where it originally was. I just used hot glue to attach it, but you can use a staple gun for a stronger hold, as well as you can cover the back with craft paper if you don't like the look of the sign on the back. I hope you like it. You'll have to let me know what you think. For DIY number two, I started out with these frames that I thrifted from my local value village. I began by taking off the sticker and then removing the innards of it. With just the frames left, I began painting. I went to Michael's and picked out three colors that I felt were closest to the cape colors of the sisters. I used Craftsmart in wine, folk art matte paint in thicket, and deco art in plum poetic plum i believe it was while the frames dried i created these printables on my computer that i'm also linking for you in my description box below i did three of the quotes from the sisters a muck a muck a muck i smell children and i put a spell on you i re put together the frames putting each quote in its correct place green is i put a spell on you the reddish color was i smell children from mary and a muck a muck a muck coordinates with the purple, which is Sarah. This was a super easy DIY that you could do with any five by seven frames, whether thrifted or from the Dollar Tree. I'd like to thank Indiana Jones for hosting this open playlist. You're sure to find lots of hocus pocus and witchy DIY inspiration. She is truly an artist in many ways of the meaning. And I hope you check her out. Tell her I said hi if you haven't checked her out already. And be sure to check out the playlist for more great content. For this last DIY, I started with one of these long faux wood looking signs from Dollar Tree. I removed the hanger from the top and then used my cutting board and a box cutter and metal ruler to cut off the star portion. I scored it 
maybe five times along my ruler and then just bent it back and forth till it broke off. Then I used my sanding sponge just to smooth out the edges. On my computer, I searched up Hocus Pocus SVGs, free SVGs, and found one that I liked of their hair. There's many out there. I'm sure you'll be able to find something. I printed them out and then placed them on my work surface and used some parchment paper. Uh, wax paper will work as well, but you'll have to cut the hot glue away from it. Parchment paper works amazing because you can peel off the hot glue once you're done. So with my parchment paper laid and the outline underneath, I then took my hot glue gun and outlined the hairstyle. This one's Sarah, of course, the blonde, then filled it in. Now it looks like it turned out okay. It doesn't turn out the greatest, but I left it in anyways, because I believe that my thoughts were great, but my tools weren't. I believe to get this to work really well, you need a high temp glue gun, which my glue gun was, but because mine was cordless, I constantly had to put it down. And so then the hot glue would start to dry and it didn't make it as smooth as I wanted. However, once you peel them off, like I'm doing here, the backs are smooth. So here I'm showing you the back is smooth. The top was a little lumpy bumpy because I had to do it in sections. So you can choose which side you want to use. In the end, I end up going with the smooth sides. Then I took my sponge dauber and painted each one in their coordinating hair colors. When this was done, this is what they look like. I brought back the sign and then just laid them out as evenly spaced as possible using my eye. I like to eye things. I don't typically use a ruler. When I was happy with their positions, I used tacky glue to glue them down. And then I just weighted them down with some paint cans just till they were dry. When everything was dried on, I took the original hanger and hot glued it to the back at the top. So this could be a hanging sign or even just a shelf sitter that leans against the wall. I hope you like how these all turned out. I had lots of fun creating them. This is my first time doing Hocus Pocus inspired DIYs, but I'm definitely a fan and had so many more ideas that I'm sure next year there'll be more videos coming. If you like what you saw, I hope you'll stick around and give it a big thumbs up. That'll help support my channel. And if you'd like to keep watching, here's some videos I think you might like. As always, thanks for watching. And if you want to see more of this content, like more DIYs and thrift flips, why don't you consider hitting that big red subscribe button to be notified anytime I upload a new video. Bye.